Hi there guys, it's me British Rob Productions. We are back with another video. Today we're going to help you create a free world scenario. I am also joined in this video by Transport Hub 1. And so let's get straight into the video. First of all, you want to load up your main screen when you uh, come into Train Simulator, or you can come back from a drive, for example, and you want to click Build, like so. Then we'll go up to Scenario, and for this we are going to use the Woodhead Electric Blue. Of course you can use any route that has the ability for you to make scenarios, which is pretty much all of them. So you want to uh, select the route, and you want to press New Scenario. Very good stuff. You want to select a location, so we will pick Hatfield Railway Station. And then we have we are set for free roam, which is what we want to do. You can also do standard, timetable, career, and quick draw. Uh, so we're going to name this YouTube. If I can spell YouTube. There we go. Press create, and then we wait for the loading. Yes. Okay, so uh, once you've loaded into the scenario, uh, you will see all these markers and that. That's all for the platform, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, so you want to move around, you can use the arrow keys to move around. Um, and so we're now going to um, uh, download some files um, so you can um, use certain trains. So we want to uh, come up to this uh, middle file on the left hand side. And we want to click the small blue box with a small uh, orangey coloured arrow. Uh, we, we then want to come over to the right hand side file uh, and then come up to the little filter here. Um, we then want to, in this case, we want to uh, select AP Wagons uh, and select the class 313. Uh, you can use any particular. Um, packs because certain packs will be in certain um, different slots so um, say if I wanted to get the class 31 uh, pack number 2 for example that would be in RSC um, so we then want to uh, come back to the left hand side file uh, now we have three sections we can either individually place um, certain vehicles so like um, here I can select a class 08 as you can see uh, the wagon that is for coaching stock and wagons and then the what looks like a front of some train uh, that is uh, for uh, sets um, transport hub one has just gone off to Greg's um, hope he has a good sausage roll um, yes and so we're going to spawn in the APW uh, class 313 in BR Blue, the three car version. There we go, that is uh, spawned in nicely. And then what we want to do is we want to come over here and we want to go to the top file on the left hand side. We want to click the driver icon. Then we want to click the, um, the driving vehicle or the front of the train. And we have this icon here. And then that is us pretty much done for this uh, free room scenario. So we then want to click the uh, save changes and drive button. Uh, save changes to current scenario. Yes, you want to do that. And you will shortly load in. Okay, so once you've loaded into your scenario, you want to uh, click your drone. As you can see here, um, so we're just going to go into the cab, and as you see, it looks very nice on this um, Armstrong Powerhouse Class uh, 313. So, uh, I'd like to thank all of you very much for watching. I hope this video was very handy, and I shall see you guys with future videos. Uh, please do subscribe. Uh, that was a text on my phone, um, so don't be distracted by that. Uh, please do like, subscribe and share. 
Also, subscribe to Transport Hub One, very good channel. Of course, subscribe to me, British Rail Production Swifts. Don't know why the 313 is moving, but oh well. Uh, so, I shall see you guys on the next one. I hope this video was very informative to you, and I uh, hope you can make some good scenarios out of it. So, I wish you guys a good day, and uh, happy driving. Ah.